Hi, and welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how using the new setup for our 2020-21 courses, where you now have some resources already added into your course, how you can set up a page as your home page, your landing page, your start page in your It's Learning course, if you would like to use the folders and pages way of kind of organizing your course, which is a totally A-OK -okay thing to do. So if you have gotten into your course already, you might have noticed that there's some content there already. You'll probably see this page where it's really just set up as kind of a framework for you to add in content and personalize it. You can add it and edit it by creating your own copy here with the three dot button. If you were curious about that, you can customize it and make it your own. Um, and if you've done some of those things already, then it might be ready to go. And if you want to set this up as your start page for your course, you would go to more and click on settings in your course, course properties and features. And if you scroll a little bit further down the page, right below the functions area where it has all of those little check boxes, it says choose start page. And this is where you can select your start page. Select that, scroll further down, and click Save. So now what I'm going to do is show you that if I go to that course as if I was a student, this is where I'm taken to first, which is probably what you want. The other thing that's really helpful and is really important that if you're using this layout, and if you're not adding and editing this page every single day um, or not wanting to type out your lesson goal every single day, that what you're doing is linking it to maybe a daily or a weekly lesson page where you update it more regularly with your goal. So that's what I would recommend. So you don't have to keep typing in this box every single day unless you want to. Um, so what you would do is within the resources we've provided in your course already, is kind of a daily lesson page. You can call it daily, you can call it weekly, whatever works best. Just depends on uh, how you want to arrange your course and how often you need to update this for your sake and how much planning you've done up front. Um, so if this is my daily lesson page, then I want to add a link to this on that course start page so that my students know that when they go to the home page, they can always get back and need to go where they need to go. So this is my daily lesson page. This is where I'm adding my lesson goal and keeping that updated so my students know what we're doing that day, where the instructions are updated. And again, this is all set up to where you can plug and chug on that with your own content and information. So if I go back to my landing page, the fast way to do this and to link to another page on a page is right here is my daily lesson page. I'm gonna right click copy link address. And I'm going to edit this content block. So I can either say, click here, and I can highlight this text. Here's my link button. If you hover over the buttons, it will tell you what you need to do. I can paste this and click OK. And now it will take me that page, my daily lesson page, or if you want to click a picture and have it take your students to your daily lesson page so it's a little bit more obvious, I just put a little start button in here. I found this off Google Images um, and it's already loaded into your course, but I would click this picture and I'm going to make the picture the link, the hyperlink. So I'll click the link button. I already did that, but I'm going to do it over again. And I'll paste it and I'll click OK. Click OK again. And now when I click, either click here or the start button, it opens up my daily lesson page in another window so my students can see what they need to do for the day and all of those lesson resources are there. Um, so that's just kind of a helpful thing to do if you're getting started and you want to set up pages as the way of organizing your course. You can even make folders, however, however you want to do that. But this is just showing you how to link on those individual pages. If you have any questions, Please let us know and good luck planning and adding your content in. We're excited to see what you come up with.